Oh, this, this is really enjoyable. After the, uh, the trials and tribulations of, well, Trial Mountain, this is a great way to detox. Hello everybody, welcome to a new episode of Gran Turismo 2 here on Chaz Draycott Media. I have just completed half an hour of grinding that last race that we were trying in the previous episode. Here's a quick recap of how it went. Remind me never to use analog sticks ever again. Oh. Attempt 2. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. No. Could this be it? I was expecting to do, like, nine attempts of this. No. Oh, it was so close. Oh, don't you even... Oh, you f piece of shit. Oh, we were so close. Attempt number three. Oh, crying out loud. Oh, why did it change up to fourth then? I didn't press anything. Oh my god. Is that close enough? No, it's not. Ah, oh, It's so easy to overcorrect in that final chicane. We're getting plenty of money from it, though, I have to say. Attempt number four. The speed of this MX-5, man. It's crazy. Taking on Vipers like they're nothing. Now, we need to take a different approach to this chicane. We just can't beat the AI through it without taking massive risks. We get a good run on the exit, but it's not enough to win the race, so. Let's see what's what through here. No, we've made a mess, we've made a mess, we've made a big mess. Oh, come on. I'm gonna grab second. No, not even gonna do that. For sake. Attempt number five. Oh, f off. Oh, get off. The field's still bunched together, so we're not giving up on this one. Believe it or not, I am enjoying this. Ah. I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying the challenge. This is really hard. Okay. After attempt number five. I think that was attempt number five. I've, I've lost track now. I am not messing about anymore. So I think this is attempt number six. And we are now on... Super soft slicks. Well, doesn't matter if you're on slicks or not if you're in the air. Wow, that's grippy. Oh my god, it makes such a massive difference. I know I've, yes, I know I've underestimated tyres before, but I didn't think super soft would make this much of a difference. Oh my god, look at that. Oh my god, what have I been doing my whole life? What have I been doing? Even that's manageable. Oh, it's ridiculous. Oh, God. Why did I think that going to slicks would not make much of a difference? Look at the lead. I'm an idiot. Oh no. Oh no. No. I knew I shouldn't have done that. I tried to do a bit for dramatic effect and now my controller's not working. No. No, 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 no. 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 Look, nothing, nothing I'm doing is working. Unplug it and plug it back in. Always try it. No, 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 no. Not now, not now, not now. Please, no. It's the... How do we find out the buttons? Let's click on a different window. Let's just do snipping tool and get it to do that. Yeah. Pressing everything on the keyboard. Oh, what was that? Oh, I just alt-tabbed. <laughs> I can't believe that. Oh, wait, it did it. It's done it. Oh, my God. Oh, 
Thank God for that. I've, there's an FPS thing at the top or something. We've done it. Finally, I've done it. Oh, my God. That was so difficult. I've been recording this for half an hour. Multiple attempts. Controller nearly killed me. Sometimes when you put this controller down a little bit too hard on a desk or something, it disconnects, and I don't know why. I think it's just a bit of a dodgy connection or the cable. They're really good controllers, though, I have to say. That was the hardest race so far. Because I didn't want to spend all the money on getting a new car. I didn't. Well, I couldn't spend much more money on doing it up. To be fair, even with that win of 15 grand there, we haven't actually made back the money that we spent on the tyres. <laughs> well done, little MX-5, though. Well done, little MX-5. Now I guess we've got to look at what we won. Please be good. If this is some crap, then done. <laughs> That's very Marmite. That is very, very Marmite. However, it's fast. It's mid-engined. It's mid-engined. And it's a con... What? Or is it mid-engined at the front? Is the engine that far back? That's weird. 125 grand's worth, though. I, th I think we could probably sell that. Oh, I'm not sure. And that brings us up to now. I'm not sure I'm going to get any use out of it, to be honest with you. I'm going to drive it for the sake of driving it, just so we can see what it's like right now. To be honest, it is actually classed as a convertible. We won it in the Convertible Car Cup. So we're going to go and race it. I know I'm mad because I've just grinded the hell out of this race. We're going to go and race it in the Convertible Car World Cup. Let's see how it handles and how it goes against all of these lot because it's a car I'm not sure about. Apparently it was mid-engined, which I'm not sure about. It looks very odd from any angle you look at it. Well, it's very fast. Gear changes are phenomenal. Handles incredibly. Smashes into the back of AC Cobras brilliantly. Oh my god. There is no slide. I thought it was sliding. Very understeering on the brakes. Wow, it's fast. Wow, it's got power. It's very weird, isn't it, in first gear when it gets to the limiter. Oversteer on the throttle into the back of the Aston. <laughs> Jesus. It is fast. I just don't see any use for it, though. That's the problem. Whoa, my God. I know it's rare, but we all know it exists. doesn't really mean that much to me to own it. I don't actually like driving it. It's great. It's fast, but I just actually don't like driving it because it's got such an understeer problem in deceleration and such an oversteer problem in acceleration. I mean, we've got a monumental lead. We've just disappeared from the rest of the cars. I've just thought as well, are we going to win another one of these? Well, I guess that way we get to keep one. And we'll sell the other one. It is classed as a race car as well with that little badge next to its name. Now, we won in the MX-5 by 2.7 seconds, but that is an absolute walkover. That is our biggest win advantage by a long way. But what can you expect? You know, we brought a race car to a convertible race. So, that was a quick look at the Dodge Concept Car LM Edition. 15 grand. And we're going to get a solid chunk of money now because I'm not only selling it because we've got two of them. I was going to sell it anyway, but we're not going to sell both of them to take the mix. So that means we've not really used that loophole as such. I know that probably seems a bit strange. You're thinking, why are you being so strict on yourself? You know, why are you making it harder for yourself? I just want the progress to be a little bit limited. You know, I want there to be a lot to work for here. So we're going to keep our original one. We're going to sell the one that we haven't touched. 125 grand about to go into the account. That is going to make life a lot easier. Wonderful, wonderful stuff to see. So, what is next on the agenda then? Now we have completed the Convertible Car World Cup, we have a bunch of other championships to look at. Lightweight K-Cup I think we should do next. We should go to some slower, little more adorable cars. For some reason, the first one has 147 horsepower limit and then 98 horsepower for the rest. So we need to get a lightweight K-Cup car. And if I remember rightly, Suzuki have quite a few of them, don't they? Can we get a used one? A servo mode SR4. There's Alto Works Limited as well. Wow. That's actually really cute, isn't it? <laughs> Three grand. Alto Works Limited. 1997. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that is cool. 63 horsepower. Four wheel drive as well. What's a wagon R column? That's a bread bin. That is a bread bin. 
yeah, we're going to buy the Auto Works Limited. It may still be eight grand, but what a fantastic little car that is. I like that. So we've still got 168 grand to our name. I maybe should have had a look at what other cars there are on the market, though, to be honest with you. I know that Honda have got a couple of them, haven't they? What was it called? Is it the Life? The Life Turbo? I think it's the Honda Life Turbo. Or is this like the... Oh, mate. That's horrible. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad I didn't go for that. That is awful. 47 horsepower. This is a case of look at what you could have won now, isn't it? Why am I going on tune? Yeah, I know. I know it can't. There's 11 BZG for sale. There is a lot of stuff, but no key cars from Toyota. I thought they made something. It was like a tiny little uh, little thing, but clearly not. Anyway, wait. Who is it that's got the... Is it Tommy? Yeah, Tommy Kyra have a bunch of like special edition cars aren't they we're not tuning it Chaz. where is it no it's not in here oh what car company was it where we were looking at buying a brand new car is it mazda oh mate where was it let's just get in the auto works and let's do it up so we're gonna lightweight it just to make sure it's definitely a lightweight k car we're gonna go to stage two on this and properly make it light now i believe these things are turbocharged aren't they 96 horsepower. Now, 98 horsepower is the limit, actually. I think we just do that, because it's four grand for, like, another 30% power. <laughs> 98 is the limit for the latter races, anyway. So, an exhaust will probably take us over that. Yeah, 99 horsepower, 100, 103. So, that means that we can spend a bit of money on some decent tyres. We're going to go for racing slicks. We're going to go for racing hards on this, because I don't think we're going to need to put much on it to outdo the opponents here and then what else do we do maybe a bit of brakes oh the flywheel good old flywheel 900 on this because it's probably about the size of my fist and that's it you know we're just we're just gonna go with that we're just gonna do it oh there is one more thing i want to do actually before we go into the races i'm sure you probably guessed we're gonna put some wheels on it we've got a lot to choose from here I like the ones it's got, you know, I like the five spokes that it's got on it, but I think it needs something a bit more like, oh yeah, look at that, oh they're cool, little split rims, yeah I like them, stuff it, we're not going to mess about too long with this, we're just going to put them on it, look at that little wagon, okay, that was easy, and then we go racing, now I imagine the cars that we're going to win for these races are not going to be of huge value, to say the least, but still, I'm excited to see what we can win. I'm excited to see what we go up against, what it counts as a K car. Because I think, don't some of the, isn't there like a Mazda AZ-1 or something that counts as one? I think it was the car that, another one that Dave Goddard pointed out earlier in the series. There's a Honda Beat. Let's go. Wiggle our way through the middle. Oh, look at it go. <laughs> Has it got like a roof, a bonnet scoop on it or something? Oh, we're going right here. I, did, I shouldn't have worried about tyres, should I? Because look. <laughs> look at the grip. 78 mile an hour. My God, it grips so much. Like, it actually is hard to keep in a straight line. Oh, the RSZ is right up behind us. It still looks very upset. Look at it. Don't pick me. This is... You know what, racing like this is awesome because you've got longer to react to stuff and the racing is usually closer the slower the car you get. Okay, where are you all going? I know these things don't handle, but the AI clearly can't drive them. <laughs> Mate, that was fast around there. or It felt fast anyway. <laughs> it was only about 70 mile an hour on the way in. Music doesn't really suit this right now, does it? Got 100 mile an hour. Yes, we hit a ton before we turned in. Whoa. Oh, fourth gear wasn't a good shout there. Me. Me. <laughs> Changed it up to fifth for the sake of it. Whoa. They're all having a big... Ah, scrap. Well, I'm having a wiggle. Yay. <laughs> this is great. Oh, the little wobbler. Get in. Get in, little Suzuki. We love you. The Daihatsu Move R SRXX, the Subaru Vivio RXRA, the Suzuki Alto Works RZ, Honda Beat, and a Suzuki Cappuccino or Cappuccino. Fantastic. <laughs> it's so cool. Oh, it's so cool. 
five grand. That pot looks a lot more convincing. Oh, and a new car as well. I think what we do is we just go straight through this championship as quickly as possible and get these races out of the way. So on to the next one. Seattle Short, six grand for this one, but you only need a B license. So I don't imagine that these cars that we're going to be getting are going to be worth a hell of a lot. Now, what's interesting to note is in that last special event, you didn't have to have a license for it and you won a car straight away. Could be a good earner, actually, in the early stages of the game because you don't actually get scrutinized on what car you bring to these championships as long as they're under the power band. So I think that race is put there as a sort of come and drive whatever you want, win a car, earn a bit more money. Okay, there's a fellow auto works to our left. There's one of them horrendous wagons in front of us. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Is that a cappuccino again? Yeah. Oh, gold wheels on it as well. Love a bit of that. Red car, black roof, gold wheels. Can't go wrong. Well, yeah. There's a corner there, mate. I like this. This is good fun. It's a bit more sedate compared to the car we were driving at the beginning of the episode, isn't it? Ah. <laughs> oh, look at the way it just leans around this circuit. This is the sort of circuit that you've got to race these cars at. Proper street circuit. Look at that, the speed through there. Oh, it's amazing. Use all the curve on the left. Throw it in just a lift. <laughs> I love it. Oh, this, this is really enjoyable. After the uh, the trials and tribulations of, well, Trial Mountain, this is a great way to detox. Reminds me of when we were first driving our Subaru around here, because that's four-wheel drive. And I witnessed the incredible grip of that car when we were up against the Evos and so on. That was fantastic. This car feels just as good around here with its four-wheel driveness, although I just turned straight into the inside wall, hence the massive grip. Now the outside wall, due to a lack of grip, I don't want to mess this up here, but I feel I might do. Can't get too complacent in this game. That's the thing. It always reminds you. Just a lift. Oh, no. Hit the inside wall. I don't think they're close enough, but look at it wiggle. I'm just trying to adjust a tiny bit. Oh, we've only just done that, but it's going to be a 1-2 for the Suzuki Alto Works machines. Get in. I'm enjoying that car a lot. Yeah, the Mazda AZ1 is there, look. I don't even know if I said that right. The Mazda AZ1 is there as are the sports limited listen to the revs <laughs> another prize pot and another new car one more to go tahiti road as well uh, tahiti road as well a circuit where we pretty much started out all of this feels like forever since we've raced on this circuit actually i imagine most of this lap is going to be flat actually around here what is that thing to the left that's the az1 in it looks like it's got eyeliner on it looks like a it looks like a Ford RS200 off Wish, doesn't it? Look at it. <laughs> what a car. There's a little Honda Beat. There was one of them in a repossessions yard near me, actually, a while ago. For anyone that knows it, Winsford. It was in uh, in Winsford, repossessions yard. A bright yellow one. Great little thing. Tiny, tiny cars. Like you, Honestly, it looks small in this game. It really is a tiny car. I'm excited to see what catastrophe awaits at the bottom of the hill I'd like to say this chat oh god I'd like to say this championship was a challenge but it really hasn't been all right we're just gonna lift yeah we need more than a lift oh my god sorry sorry little Suzuki here they come oh my god it's wiggling everywhere because I can't keep it in a straight line because we put like racing slicks on it one tiny tap of the steering just goes up like that <laughs> but it was struggling to accelerate up over the hill all right, wide line on the way through the first couple of corners. Stay flat. Yeah. Still flat. Still flat. Still flat. Trying to stay flat. Ready? Flat. Still flat. Oh! I'm still flat. A <laughs> little bit of a lift on the way in. You can see, actually, because look, when I lift, watch the turbo gauge. That's when you can tell I've lifted. There was no lift there. Watch it back. Still flat. Still flat. Still flat. Trying to stay flat. Ready? Flat. Still flat. Oh! I'm still flat. <laughs> 
Nicely timed gear change with the music there. Right, brake for this one. We don't have to brake much. Just throw it in, use the four-wheel drive to drag it around. We've not decimated the field here, but this is going to be the final one of this championship. I do find it interesting what order this game has the championships listed in, because you would think that this would be one of the first ones you do, based on the fact that the first race is free, you win a car, you get a decent bit of money for winning the races. You would have thought that this would be one of the first races in the game. However, we have conquered the lightweight K Racing Cup. That was good fun. That was really, really good fun, that. We'll have a quick look at what cars we've won. And then we will... What the hell? A Mitsubishi Minica Dangan. There's some amazing and wonderful names in Japanese car culture. Yeah, enough of that. So we'll have three new cars in our garage now that we'll probably never use unless they're seriously cool. There's all the money. There is the new car. And there is a save. There you go then. A win in the lightweight K Cup. And let's see what the winnings are in terms of automobiles. Great list of cars that we've got here. Really love it. We've got a Mugen B, a Mazda Demio A spec, and a Mugen CRX2. Wow. Let's have a look at the Mugen B. Oh my god, look at it. It's only worth two grand. It's so cute. Oh, it is so cute. But we're selling it. Mazda Demio A spec. I know that these things have got like multiple wings on them and look a bit nuts. That's cool. <laughs> I do like that. I do like a Demio. That's pretty sick as well, to be fair. Again, I'm just going to sell it. I'm not going to use any of these sorts of cars, I don't think, anymore. Now, that is cool. I'm keeping that. A Mugen CRX. The Pro 2, as it's called there. 155 horsepower. That's an angry little car, isn't it? That's an angry little thing. I like that. What does it rev to? 7,500 RPM. Well, that rounds out this episode, though. A little, uh, a little, very little bit of fun in the lightweight K Cup. Obviously, getting a good bit of money now as well for that car previously has definitely helped us out. I'm not going to sell the other one unless we really need to later in the game, but I don't think we will now. That's going to certainly help us out all that money there. So thank you very much for watching once again, and I look forward to catching you in the next episode.